We're doing a test. We're gonna convert sunshine in the summer to wood heat in the winter. And we're gonna tell you the exact details. No way! Oh. We have things that can get destroyed and the tree we are cutting down, our test subject, is kind of right in the yard. We're gonna firewood it without crushing the apple tree or the crab apple tree or the Saskatoon berry patch and without crushing our adobe oven and without wrecking our fence, this guy, this guy has got to go. It's really too bad. I really liked having these two big mature spruce here. How old do you think? Oh no, I said I think it's at least 50 feet. Oh yeah, I think it's more. 65? I'd say, say 89 feet. I think it's, I think it's over 60, maybe it's in the 65 range. That's my guess. How old is it, do you think? We should count the rings after. Mm -hmm. How old do you guys think? 60. 60? Yeah. I think... 60 feet tall and 60 years old? I think it's 53. Here's what's amazing. If you have wood heat, the forest can grow you new firewood, right? So your fuel is renewable. But you do have to cut it down and you would typically use a chainsaw. <clears throat> the chainsaw uses gas, but what if the chainsaw was electric? Then you could charge the chainsaw with solar power, which is also renewable. This is why I'm so excited. We got a new saw so that we can have solar powered firewood. We're gonna calculate exactly how many sunny minutes it takes to charge the battery and how much firewood that will make from one battery. That's today's test. Okay, the other test is to not destroy any of our stuff <laughs> when we fall the tree. That'd be nice. And that's where you come in. Me? Yeah, because you're gonna, we're gonna tie that rope. We're gonna tie the rope to the tree and we're gonna pull it where exactly where we want it to fall. Okay. Did you pace it out, Kaz? 20, so if it's 60 feet tall, it'll just touch those spruce. And it won't touch our pizza oven, hopefully. Okay, Higher the better. Okay. Okay, so you see how you need more, uh, more on this side. More, well, just a steeper angle in general, hey? Oh, to come that. back to there. Yeah, so what should I do? Yeah, do it again. Okay. Wow. It's a big cut. That's more than two thirds. That's a bit scary looking. <laughs> okay, girls, put some pressure on it. Keep the tension on, girls. Okay, go, 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 pull it. Whoa. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Just right beside the fence. Perfect, and did it hit over there? Nope. So let's pace it out. Here we go, there's the tree. One, three, four. 21 meters. 
<laughs> yeah, so 60 or 66 feet-ish. Wow, we were pretty close. And we got a count going. Sixty-seven. Really? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Sixty-seven? Maybe how old it wow. is. Wow. Wow, it's 66 feet tall and 66 years old. Start carrying this stuff away, girl. Don't hit. Can you get the chain and the rope out of there, please? Look at this stuff. That is pretty delicious looking. I think our battery is getting hot or low. <laughs> we might have to turn this into a two battery test. <laughs> but it's so close. There we go. Like one of these things, how big is this? Nine. It's, I don't know, 13 or 14 inches across. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of energy right there. Yep. We're gonna do the math because we know that firewood is roughly 15 megajoules per kilogram. It's gonna blow your mind. Okay. Look at that, can you see that? 3,080, 3,100 watts. Which is actually amazing because that is, that's more solar than I have. 3,130, wow. Over 3,000 watts. The panels are flat in their summer configuration. And what's interesting is each one of those panels so, one, two, three, four, anyways, there's 10 of them. They are 305 watts each, which is 3,050 watts. But we are actually getting a hair more than that, which is possible up here because it's cool out, right? Here, let's quickly go back in and see with this little bit of cloud what a difference it made. Okay, tiny bit of cloud and, oh yeah, big difference, 1,300. So, 1,400, yep. Slowly climbing, that, cl that cloud must be just thinning out. Look at it go. That's great. Oh, it's gonna get right back up there. The sun, I think, is out fully again. Boom. Back up. Yeah, almost. <laughs> Okay, it's, there you go, folks. That's how solar works. It's there and then it's not there. And that's why you need the batteries. Because they're there all the time. But let's see how much power the battery charger takes for the, for the saw. So I'm gonna plug it in the charger, but here's the thing. The charger is plugged in through this gizmo, just into a outlet coming from our solar system. But this little gizmo and the clamp on amp meter is gonna tell us how many amps we have. Now look, this charger, this wicked thing, it's drawing 28 milliamps with nothing. It's stealing power for nothing, for no good reason. Maybe we should unplug these other ones too. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, why don't you plug that in, Kezer? Plug it in, I'm gonna watch the current. Boom, up to 
point nine eight five stopwatch. Okay. So we are gonna come back when that thing stops flashing, and then we can calculate the amount of energy that went in this battery. And we know how much energy is going, is coming from the solar power system right now. So we will know how many minutes of sunshine it takes on that system to charge this battery. Okay, it's done. Current has dropped right off. Two hours and 11 minutes. Okay, battery's charged and still about 1800 watts. I think we will use the average of that. So between 3000 and 1800 watts, we could say like 2400 watts. What do you say? 2.4 kilowatts, that's our average output from the solar. Here's another thing that's interesting. This thing says nine amp hours. Now that's at 20 volts if you read the fine print. It took two hours drawing basically an amp the entire time. We kept checking. That's two amp hours at 120 volts. So divided by 20 would be six. So that's 12 amp hours. So it took 12 amp hours of charging to get nine amp hours. That makes total sense, right? It's not perfectly efficient. But that's actually pretty efficient. That's 75%, I'd say. We'll do all the math in a bit, but we're gonna finish cutting the tree. I grew up at the end of a country road In a little farmhouse we have no one stole In the winter time oh, we get lots of snow So that's it, I'll do the worst yet you must go We're pushing this thing. So it's not getting very far. We got the whole tree felled and limbed and right down to about a four inch top. And we got, I don't know, five, 10. We got 14 big rounds cut, but I think this continuous duty is not good for this battery. It keeps showing, you know, two bars, but it, it dies right away. So I think it's just getting hot. I got the one battery, so this is turning into a slow test because it's definitely gonna take a third battery. Let's do some math. This is the fun part. We had 120 volts, we had one amp, and we had 130 minutes. That's what it took to charge one battery. So this combines to equal 120 watts, which is equal to 120 joules per second. This is 130 minutes times 60 was 7,800 seconds. 120 joules per second times 7,800 seconds is equal to 936 zero, zero, zero. That's how many joules go into the battery per charge. That is almost one megajoule. That's wild. So the solar charger, 2,400 watts, we said on average. All right, so that's equal to 2,400 joules per second. So how many seconds of this solar charger working would it take to make that many joules? We've got to divide it. So 93, 936,000 joules divided by 2,400 joules per second equals 390 seconds. That's not even very long. 
So divided by 60 is 6.5 minutes. So one battery is about 1 million joules. But with that solar system running how it was on average, it would only take six and a half minutes to collect enough energy to charge that battery. Now, we've done most of the tree. We've done the fattest third of the tree. We've limbed everything, we fell it all down. Uh, but that did take two batteries. I think it's gonna be three batteries. We'll confirm. But what that means is the solar would have to run for 19.5 minutes of solar to charge three batteries. That's the whole tree. So we're gonna try and do some averaging here. That is four feet. It's 10 feet across the bottom, four feet across the top. Would you say it's about seven? Yep. So it's seven by four by, you know, one and a third. Okay. So, so we can just say, Compared to a cord, a cord would be four high, the same, but it would be eight long, and then it would be three of these rows. So if this was eight by four, it'd be a third of a cord. So it's a hair under. So we're gonna do, it's seven eighths of a third of a cord. That's seven twenty-fourths. Right. So whatever that is. We'll write it down. Seven twenty-fourths of a cord, right? And we know that a cord, once this is dry, because it's not totally dry yet, it's still kind of sticky. So once we dry it, this will be about, or a cord is about one cord of like a softwood, like spruce and pine, is roughly 2,500 pounds. To 729.16. Seven hundred and twenty-nine pounds. That's how much this. That's is? how much this will be when it's nice and dry. Oh, okay. Okay. Now here's where it gets really <clears throat> interesting: is firewood, all the softwoods and the hardwoods, they're actually really similar energy per mass. That number is about fifteen point five. This is the most common number I found out there. 15.5 megajoules per kilogram, which is about seven megajoules per pound. So now we know we got 729 pounds times seven megajoules per pound equals Rose. Yes. Nice. I'm just gonna say 5,100 mega joules. Okay. Here's the grand finale. This was, all of this was like 20 minutes of solar time. 20 minutes of solar power, right? 20 minutes of sun, you mean? Yeah, 20 minutes of sun on our solar power system. Okay. That's what we put into the batteries. Half cord per month. And remember, we had 7 24ths of a cord, just under a third. 0.58 of a month, how much, multiply by 30. Oh, 0.58 times 30, 17.4. 17.4 days. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much that would last? Yeah, 17 days, two weeks. 
just over maybe over two weeks. Wow, that's longer than I thought. Isn't that amazing? So, get this. We charge the batteries. <laughs> if you guys hear the hollering out there, it's the goat. The goat really wants to get milked, as we all do. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, so this thing, the solar power system works for 20 minutes, charges the batteries, and then have enough saw power to cut up two weeks of wood. That's pretty darn good. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Could someone go milk the good goat? Good Lord, would someone please help the goat? <laughs> <laughs> it's also exciting, I can barely contain myself. Barely. <laughs> hmm.